the Weather Extreme video, the morning edition for the last day of January, the 31st of January, 2017. I'm James Spann. It's the morning edition. A very mild day today, but cooler air moves in later this week and some rain before the week is over and some chance of rain over the weekend as well. But that's a little iffy at this point. So let's go in and talk about it. Always interesting this time of the year. That's the water vapor satellite view. The flow is going more zonal here, and that's going to keep the really cool air out today. Now, early this morning, we got numbers all over the board. And you know what I'm going to say? Yeah, many mornings, it's not a one-number morning here on a clear, calm morning like this. It's 30 at Fort Payne, almost 20 degrees warmer at Birmingham at 48. And then Montgomery's at 39. But uh, everybody warms up nicely. We'll expect a high somewhere between 67 and 70 in most spots today. Around the region, no really Arctic air involved. You can see uh, mostly 40s up into Kentucky and Missouri. And it is colder back in the western states. And we'll feel some of that cooler air later this week with highs going back in the 50s by uh, Friday. But still no sign of any just brutally cold Arctic air here anytime soon. The nation is fairly quiet today. That's the watch warning map. Winter storm warnings for parts of the northwestern states and a few scattered winter weather advisories in the northeast and frost advisories down into parts of central Florida this morning. Thunder just not happening today around the country. Rain for the next seven days. Amounts taper off from about one inch for the Tennessee Valley down to hardly anything for South Alabama. And again, we'll see a little light rain later this week and some chance of rain over the weekend. But again, that's getting a little iffy, as you'll see. So let's go in there and talk about it here. Here's the GFS. This is the 12Z run. I'm sorry, the 06Z run valid today at noon. And again, the flow is going zonal and a really beautiful day today. Sunny and very mild. Great day to wrap up a wild month. We've had everything this month uh, from winter storms to single digit cold to record warmth and tornadoes. But we're wrapping it up just with a beautiful day. Tomorrow, clouds will slowly increase, and there's a front approaching from the north. You can see evidence of maybe some light rain over Tennessee. I think we'll be dry. The high will be in the 60s. And again, we'll start the day probably with morning sun, then clouds increasing by afternoon. Thursday, the front kind of drifts in here and stops. It'll be a cloudy day with a chance of some light rain. Nothing heavy, no thunder, just a little light rain possible at times. And it will be cooler. I'd say the high will drop into the upper 50s and pretty much the same deal on Friday. Cloudy, cool, maybe some light rain at times. Areas north of Birmingham might stay in the 40s all day. These are the anomalies. You can see we go below average. So I'd say the high Friday around 50. So it's going to be kind of a, a raw, cloudy, damp day with some light rain at times. Now, what about that weekend, you ask? I think we can take out the chance of a shower Saturday. We've mentioned just the chance of showers in earlier forecasts, but this run coming in pretty dry. And if this is right, we'd start the day around 30. The high would be in the mid-50s. Temperatures may be a smidgen below average for this time of the year, but basically for now, Saturday looking cool and dry. And then Sunday, a cold front comes in, but this is not an Arctic front. This is a Pacific front. And that will bring a chance of rain. But this run is not as aggressive as other runs. And if you look at the European on Sunday, it basically keeps the bulk of that rain north of here and really doesn't want to bring much down in here at all. So uh, Sunday not looking as wet as it did yesterday. We'll still mention a chance of rain. And I'd say the high Sunday will be around 60. Then we'll go to Monday. The, the Pacific front just kind of washes out. Uh, maybe lingering clouds, and I guess maybe some chance of a shower, but uh, I wouldn't call that a rainy day at all. And uh, it's going to be very mild. Monday will probably rise well up into the 60s. And here's a week from today. This is Tuesday the 7th, a pretty good trough northwest of the state. A deep surface low is over northern Missouri with a trailing front. And if this is right, Tuesday would be mild and breezy, maybe a shower late in the day. And then Tuesday night, that front comes in with a good chance of rain and maybe some thunder. But the main surface low is up in Canada, so that does not look like a severe weather look. Now, here comes another good system uh, toward the end of next week. This is Thursday the 9th, a very deep surface low near Bristol, Tennessee. And if by chance this verifies, it'd be a big snow for Indianapolis and Columbus, Ohio. And Pittsburgh, and down here, we'd have rain and storms. 
And then at the end of next week, a very deep trough coming in with a pretty good shot of colder air, very strong north winds, and maybe a few flurries over north Alabama if this verifies. And that's a nasty-looking snowstorm. Again, if this verifies for the northeastern states. I mean, a blizzard almost, but I'll almost guarantee you this will change in coming days. Just something to keep an eye on. Uh, numbers, we like the European Ensemble. It's been doing much better lately. And again, you can see we cool down Friday with a high close to 50. Then we warm up. We'll be close to 70 by Tuesday of next week. And then we turn colder again with a high dropping in the 40s by Thursday. So some ups and downs. But if you average all of those numbers, they're pretty close to where we should be for this time of the year and first part of February. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream or on television, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.